Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today is the day when we're going to announce who won the giveaway. Remember, there are two prizes for the BTS giveaway in commemoration of 10K, the proof album that we used in the unboxing. And I'm just going to keep the postcard that had the group members, but everything else is yours. And for the second runner up, I already packed the poster in a very sturdy cylinder. Also, I wanted to give you a top restaurant recommendation for when you come to Korea or if you're already here. It's hard to give restaurant recommendations because a lot of them disappear by the time people come, but this one is a fancy Gangnam way to do traditional Korean food instead of going to the market and it's been there forever and it seems like it's gonna continue on and for the K-beauty review I wanted to go over the trend in aqua beauty what is an aqua product should you use it in the summer it seems like you should but these are the reasons that I want to give to you why perhaps it's actually better in colder weather. All that coming up. Stay tuned. Okay, it took me a while to try to figure out how am I going to randomly choose the winner. And I said that I wanted to try to get my cat involved, but uh, he don't seem a little bit too enthusiastic today to be on camera and, you know, I can't have him pushing random buttons. So I found a true random number generator. If you want to see, it's random.org. It's just a website. So what I've notice is that in the comment section, there are 185 comments. So I put minimum one maximum 185 so when i press generate it's going to generate a random number and i'm just going to count from the top like all the way down and the requirement was that you're a subscriber and also you left some sort of bts vocabulary some people commented saying that they already have the album they don't need it so we'll just keep going until we find a winner so the first one i just want to let's give the album first you know how sometimes they just like the runner-up and then the last one but then you know that doesn't feel so fair for the person who gets chosen first so let's just do that okay we're gonna try generate now 137 oh my gosh i was hoping for a low number so i don't have to count so much okay so i'm gonna fast forward this part but we're gonna we're, we're gonna count okay one uh, oh you have to see for proof 137 Okay, comment 137. I hope. I hope this works. Okay. 137 is Genevieve Prudence. And she said the Magne line are the three youngest members. So, she qualifies. Congratulations, Genevieve Prudence. You have won the album. And so, contact me and... I don't think there is a way for me to directly contact you, but I need you to prove that you are indeed this person. So I would like you to email me back a screenshot of you just in your uh, YouTube account where only like the account holder can go, you know, like a, the dashboard section of the creator studio or some other thing that basically proves that you are indeed the owner of this account. So once again, Genevieve Prudence, who said the Magne line are the three youngest members. Congratulations, you won the album. That was 137. Now let's generate the runner up. Thank goodness. 16. Okay, let's go down. I'm going to go back all the way up to the top of the contents. Comments. Okay, one. 16. Lena Marquez. You did not put a. Well, congratulations for being the number 16, but you did not put a BTS vocabulary. So, and I, I think maybe you didn't even want the prize anyway. So we have to do it one more time or as many times as it takes. <gasps> number 20, okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. 
<laughs> so Lena Marquez, you were 16. So I'm just going to keep counting from there. 17, 18, 19, 20. Mo Monica Modbelu. Oh, you didn't put a comment either. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you put a comment, but you didn't put a vocabulary. Oh, thank you, though, for the comment. Okay. Generate again. <gasps> Nine... <laughs> 90. Okay, so Lena, um, so Monlika was 20, so I'm gonna continue from there. Okay, 90 is Namratha M. And she put down, Porahe, I purple you. I'll love you till the end. Congrats on 10K. So, Namratha, you are the winner of the poster. So, again, Email me or contact me and put a screenshot that proves that you own the YouTube account and then put your address where I can mail it to you and I'll send it by DHL Express and most likely you'll get it in like two or three days. So congratulations to everybody and congratulations or thank you to all of you who have supported this channel and just kept watching and like to share the tea, especially on the message board. Okay, so if you come to Seoul, there are a lot of times people are like, where should I go eat? That is almost the number one question for tourists because they want to get like a nice Korean meal. And a lot of the times people will go to Gwangjang Shijang, which is right in the heart of Seoul, like in the northern part, in the old traditional part. And they will go for the food stalls and a lot of TV shows focused on Korean street food have gone there. I personally tend to think it's a little bit over touristy and sometimes the food can be a little too greasy or something something, but still good. You should definitely go. Now, if you are just a fancy pants and you get invited, because I'm no, I'm no, I've gone to this restaurant a couple of times, the one that I'm about to recommend to you, it's called Mukcheon, and it's in fancy Apgujong, Apgujongdong or Cheongdam border, basically the Beverly Hills of Seoul. But it's a traditional Korean restaurant that has chun, which is basically a lot of the Korean foods that you eat on the holidays that have been pan fried it takes a lot of time a lot of work and but it's like a variety if you kind of think of it as like like kind of like the variety that you would get from like sushi but like korean food and everything is pan fried grilled you know some are meat some are vegetables some are egg battered there it's the the it's a variety is like endless that's what they specialize in so it has that market type of feel so most people will probably be fine with going to the market and for that bustling experience. Let's say you want the same food, but you want to sit down air conditioned and a little bit like traditional kind of interior environment, but really calm. And if you have a large group, you can get your own room and the food there is prepared exquisitely detailed for something that's supposed to be simple so it's something like very dependable uh the the taste is is excellent it's the most i would say traditional you can get in gangnam because the t those things are usually not uh, together like at, when Korean food goes to Gangnam there's something I feel that gets a little bit corrupted there it's like over over seasoned and uh, you, you kind of feel a little sometimes a little icky after some of the food because it's just like way too much they're just like trying they're just extra so this is a place where I think you can actually get some of the clean taste of like a regional food, but it still will be a little bit kangnami in the sense that it might be a little bit too sanitized for some people's tastes. But it's a great place to go and it's as if like you just want to go to one place and have the country's best just come to your table. I would recommend the assorted chun set. It's called modum jeon and in the picture, you'll see that we got the large version, which has four of each different type of chon presented in that long thing. And for fish lovers, especially mackerel lovers, because in Korea, that is a very uh, staple fish and it is uh, 
different in the way that like, you can tell when it's well grilled because it has that crispiness, the oiliness, but the fleshiness and lightness, but yet satiating. It was excellent here. So I would recommend the Modumjan and also the mackerel, which is kodungal. And we had also mulhe, which is essentially like a cold uh, vinegary broth of noodles, broth, vegetables, and the he part is essentially uh, raw fish. So this was like uh, octopus and some fish that is very popular to cool down and usually you get it like, you know, in the countryside. So again, it's kind of like bringing the countryside here. That was decent. The posam, which uh, which is essentially uh, pork, like a pork belly, but prepared in a different way where it's a little bit more like steamed or blanched. And then you eat it with some uh, spicy kimchi that's particularly made for that purpose. And you wrap it in a cabbage leaf. So, you know, very you know, paleo, if you're into that. And that was really good. But I would say number one is definitely the modumjan and number two, the mackerel. Also here, like, of course, it's a place where you uh, drink traditional Korean makgeolli. And makgeolli is the rice wine that is milky in color. And each region of Korea has a different flavor. So if you're looking to find like high quality regional makgeolli's that's not that expensive, you should come to also Mukjeon because we had the Jeju makgeolli, which was not as sweet. Sometimes you'll find makgeolli's very sweet and it kind of hits you in the head. So we we're just like, recommend non-sweet ones and she said there were a few and we're just like oh let's go to Jeju because Jeju Island is kind of like you know summer vacation that we can't go to that you know just here and then the house makgeolli which you know I was expecting like you know when you order house wine it's just like you know um, not the best wine uh, but this house makgeolli it really felt like this was their house recipe because it was not overly sweet and it had like a very unique but mellow flavor as if like they found a way to make middle of the road appealing. So that was delicious as well. Some of the chestnut flavored ones like peanut flavored ones, those will be sweet. And so those will also have some regional kind of flavors, the corn ones. Uh, they're all delicious, but you gotta sometimes watch out. Like the higher the sugar content, depending on how your body processes it, can kind of hit you in the head. But I would say the, and usually I don't like to drink makgeolli because it makes you feel so um, bad the next day. Maybe it's because if you drink a lot, but this one, it didn't, although we didn't drink that much. But this one felt like it was more of a, a clean flavor so the quality is high so if you're looking for a traditional korean market experience and to enjoy the flavors of the food and the best hit items on traditional korean dishes but in a, a little bit more of a fancier it's not fancy but for what it is it's fancy because you're not you know you really don't go to like apujong and uh sit in a restaurant to eat you know these types of foods but you can because there are some fancy people in seoul that want to do it that way and they've been doing it a long time so it's a staple so definitely recommend it i'll put a link below and you can go check it out all right it's time for our k-beauty review aqua so aqua in K-beauty, what is it? Essentially, it's when the consistency of the cream that you use is more of like a gel, but it's not too, it's not like a gel in the sense of like aloe vera gel. It's a little bit more translucent, a little bit watery, lighter in texture. And so I have a sunblock because sometimes people are just like, oh, the sunblock is too heavy. That's when you would probably want an aqua. And then this is one of my absolute favorite moisturizers of all time, the Belief Aqua Balm. The cousin of this is the moisturizing balm and that's more of like a cream texture, but 
I think that's not worth it. This is the one that's worth it. Look, it's just kind of like there's nothing left in the bottle. So it is very light. So I absolutely, because there's a lot of aquas out there and especially in the cream form. And I've tried a lot of them. A lot of them try to copy this. It does not perform as well. It has an amazing coverage and it makes you look you know, really smooth and matte. The scent is very light and pleasing and amazing. All right, so this is the Misha. Uh, so it would be much more affordable. Aqua Sunblock. Again, I put too much. But see how like it's, there's a lot less white casting. So if you're worried about that, the Aquas are a lot better. Now, why would I say it's not like, you know, you want something lighter in the summertime, then why would you not? This works well for application if you are in an air conditioned environment. If you are just like right out of a hot shower and it's not very air conditioned where you're at, this just keep, this just does not absorb. It just kind of goes into a slippery mess. Where I found like, especially this Aqua Bomb was great for is day cream in the winter time when everything is a little dry and you need something that is less like creamy you need to amp up the actual moisture content of your cream it works so well in that environment it works great in summer as well but like I said, you know, that uh, Misha Time Revolution Immortal Youth Cream that seemed really kind of thick. That is really right now my go-to moisturizer even during the daytime because it won't slip. It's going to, you know, sit on the skin even though, you know, because when it's hot, things start to run. And that works really well. If you can get a good absorption while you're using the product or applying the product, then of course the gel would be good. Also, it's just has a lighter finish. It's just a bit drier, thinner. It's almost as if you put nothing on and that's the, the beauty of the Aqua products. But I would be beware of some of them because I've noticed like some of them, they try to copy this belief. It did not work out very well, even though it looks exactly the same. It might be a little bit cheaper and that's probably uh, why. And then, you know, this is a very affordable sunblock by Misha. So try the Aqua series if you haven't. If you have and you have comments about like how you how it worked out for you please put it down below all right guys well congratulations to our winners of the prizes and hope to see you again soon and thank you all once again for being part of our soul light tv community see you next time guys bye bye tune in next time don't forget to subscribe Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Love you.